Now let's take a look at atlases, maps indicating which voxel belongs to which structure. First, open up a template image by clicking File, Add Standard, and selecting the MNI 152 1mm brain. Click on Settings, Ortho View 1, and then the Atlas panel. This opens up a panel at the bottom with three tabs. The Harvard-Oxford cortical and subcortical atlases are loaded by default. The Atlas Information box shows which atlases are available. Checking the box next to an atlas shows which structure belongs to the voxel under your crosshair. Remember that some atlases are probabilistic, meaning that they give you the probability that a voxel belongs to one structure or another. Other atlases are label atlases, which are exclusive. Each voxel is labeled as belonging to one region only. You can display the entire atlas by clicking the Show Hide button. Clicking it again will hide the atlas colors. Clicking on the Show Hide button for an individual label will display only that region. If you select Atlas Search, you can display atlas structures. If you highlight the atlas, you can select individual structures. Clicking on the plus symbol places your crosshairs in the center of that structure, while checking the checkbox displays it. You can refine your search by typing the name of the structure you're looking for. The atlases containing the string you typed will be highlighted. You can save the structure into a separate nifty file by clicking on the disk icon next to the structure. These can then be used for ROI analyses. Another way you can create ROIs in standardized space is to draw them yourself. Click on Settings, Ortho View, and then Edit Mode. This will display additional toolbars for selecting and drawing voxels. Here we'll cover the basics. The first thing you'll want to do is create a copy of the current dataset. This creates a blank copy that has the same dimensions as the parent dataset. Make sure that the mask matches the data you will be using for an ROI analysis. If your data was warped to another template, you will either have to create the mask using a copy of that template, or resample your mask to the data. Also make sure to highlight the mask so that any changes affect the mask and not the original dataset. Next, take a look at these two buttons, Draw Mode and Select Mode. Draw Mode allows you to start selecting voxels and fill them in with numbers. For most ROI analyses, you will want to leave the fill value as 1, so that data is extracted only from those voxels. If you click on the pencil, you can hold down the mouse button and start drawing. As soon as you release the button, those voxels will be filled in with the fill value. You can also change the selection size. You can remove voxels from your mask by either clicking the Undo button or selecting the Eraser button and highlighting the voxels you want to remove. Using Select Mode is more flexible. This lets you select voxels and then decide whether to fill them in, undo your selection, or remove the voxels that are highlighted. Let's see how to make a spherical ROI with a 5mm radius. Click on the Select by Intensity tool the 3D button, and the Limit to Radius button. Then, select a search radius of 5. Once you've placed a sphere where you want, click the Fill button. You could also input the coordinates of the peak activity from another study, click in the center of the crosshair, and then fill the voxels. You can save the ROI by clicking on the Disk button. One more useful feature is to select based on the intensity of the parent image. For example, selecting white matter voxels. Highlight the parent image and unselect the Limit to Radius button. Set the intensity threshold to 1000. Selecting a voxel will highlight neighboring voxels in the brain that are within an intensity range of plus or minus 1000 from the currently selected voxel. If you select the Limit to Radius button, you can combine this with a limited search radius. Once you have the voxels you want, go to the Target Image drop-down menu and select the copy of the parent image. Then, click the Fill Voxels button. You can save it by clicking on the Disk button. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found these videos useful. 
and I hope you find Fossilize a handy tool for viewing data and understanding more about fMRI analysis. I'll post more tips and tricks as they come up, but in the meantime, enjoy your new program.